Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. In my previous video, I explained that what is the mechanism of electrolysis, galvanic cell, and what are the differences between electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. In this lesson, I shall explain that what is the mechanism of electroplating, and this is a practical version of electrolysis. So, electroplating is simply that we can say that adding, adding a coating of a metal on another metal uh, through electrolysis. So we know that what is electrolysis. We know what is the mechanism of it. So now this is the practical version that how we can actually uh, prevent the degradation of metal and how we can increase the brightness of a metal. Because we know that the more reactive metal uh, those who actually directly connected with uh, airs and uh, like uh, vapor and then they actually changes I even rust and decay can happen so to prevent these degradations and decay electroplating can be another options so we can do the electroplating for the increase of brightness and also the degradations uh, preventing the degradations so how these things will happen so I need to think about it first that which one is the less reactive metal which is the more reactive metal so i hope you know the reactivity series i'm just giving a simple of that that you know i hope you know it uh, magnesium aluminium zinc iron uh, lithium potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron uh, stena, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, platinum, gold. So these are the, I mean this is a sample of the reactivity series of metal and you know this is the more reactive metal. We will study a lot about it when we will study about a metal extraction because this electrolysis will again be explained on that portions of your study. So metal extraction is another basic concept. So on that level we'll explain what is the reactivity series but for this video I'm just showing you that these are the active metal and these are the I mean, middle active metal and then this is the less active metal. So and this is definitely like a nickel, chromium, uh, silver these are really shiny metal that that can be used as a coating so there's brightness or shininess of the metal can be increased so if I want that uh, this is uh, something like a uh, made up of spoon that is iron made but I want a silver coating outside or outer layer of the spoon so what can be the procedure the procedure is electrolysis so think about it this aqua solution should be the metal that I want to I want to make a coating of this a spoon outer layer suppose I want that in the outer layer nickel would be added nickel so I should use the solutions as nickel sulfate and also this anode as a nickel rod but here if I want that silver coating would be here so we should check this silver as anode and also this is very important that which part I want to add the coating that's for that portion would be used as cathode because we know the concept of anode and cathode the anode are the, the electrode or the electric conductor that is actually added with the positive part or the positive uh, portions of the electric source and the negative part that is added with this this is cathode so the part that I want that coated would be on that part that should be used as cathode and the metal that I want to be coated here that is actually anode now what is the reaction is going on so you remember one thing that this solution is actually silver nitrate solution think about it silver nitrate solution or aqua solution and then this is iron made spoon so the silver coating would be in the outside of this spoon so what is the process inside you know 
that silver nitrate in aqueous solution will be dissociate with silver plus and nitrate minus ion. So the silver plus that is actually the cation that would be produced from the silver rod and then this silver plus that is cation would directly attracted to this cathode because we know that cathode attracts cation. So when silver plus will accept an electron then it will add a silver solid in the cathode reaction. In anode it's becoming silver plus as because it's actually it's actually giving an electron which is actually going on in the anode reaction. So basically silver plus or the silver cation it can be the nickel, it can be chromium, whatever. I mean in case of nickel, nickel this can be also used even aurum, gold, platinum these are highly used uh, coating it to increase the brightness and also the prevention of degradation of more reactive metal. So that silver would be added as a solid portions in the outer layer of the spoon or whatever you used in cathode there would be a coating of that metal that you will use in case of anode. So this is a very short description of the electroplating because we know the definition that adding a coating of a metal this is a less reactive metal on another metal, more reactive metal. So we can say that adding a coating of a less reactive metal, this is less reactive metal or another metal which is more reactive metal through electrolysis. This is known as electroplating. And this is the reactivity series that can be I mean, understood that which are the more reactive and which one the less reactive and the process of it. If this is the questions on your paper, please draw this figure and try to put these reactions. And I will explain something, so try to write it on your own way so that uh, that is uh, proof that you understood the process. So definitely try to give an answer according to the number or those who were just watching this tutorial to understand the concept. I'm trying a little bit explanatory to you but something definitely written on the book. I hope when you'll read the book you understand. You can visualize the process because when you know this, the mechanism of electrolysis, electroplating would be much more easier for you. So this is a shorter uh, tutorial for that and I hope those are watching this tutorial please give me the feedback that uh, is it really beneficiary for you that uh, the expectation level can I meet it so I shall definitely try to adjust those feedback in my next tutorial. So take care see you in the next video with nuclear reactions like nuclear fissions and nuclear fusions. So take care stay well. Bye.